Hi, I'm Rashid Ogunlari, coach, speaker, author of Soul Trader, putting the heart back into your business. Welcome to the October issue of Catch the Coach. Belatedly, um, we're at that point, aren't we, in the middle of autumn, which is a time where we're often very, very busy. It's about time just before harvesting. So perhaps you've been really caught up back, being back at work, back at business, back at school, studying, whatever it is the case for you. Today is a bit of a special issue because all I'm gonna focus on is my top 10 tips for a happier, simpler, more successful life. Because sometimes when you're busy, you don't have that time. You wanna be really, really focused and be very, very efficient. But first of all, very, very quickly, I just wanna say happy fourth birthday to my book, Soul Trader, and everybody who supported it, bought it. I wanna say thank you to the Publishers Co. page, thank you to the British Library, thank you for everybody who's bought it, read it, supported it, thank you. And to help us celebrate on um, Tuesday, the um, 18th of October, 7.30 p.m., look below here, you'll see the link. I'm running a very special free webinar, Material, Emotional, Spiritual, how so that you can grow and flourish in all areas, materially, spiritually, and emotionally. So join us then, 7.30 um, on the 18th of October. And for those of you who are thinking about or on that path, I'm holding a very special um, Soul Trader um, workshop, Soul Trader Your Life, Your World, but Your Business workshop on the 17th of November at the British Library. Again, you'll see a link for that. Um, finally, in terms of event, my networking for success event at the British Library, very popular for you if you're um, moving ahead in your career or if you're wanting to move ahead in business. That is run on the next dates so of that at 10th of November and the 7th of uh, and December. You may have seen the recent news report that 40% of people gain their jobs through networking. So if you're not networking, you might be missing opportunities. Right. Um, here are then my top 10 tips for a happier, simpler, more successful life. Number one, know what's important and what's not. What's really important and what's not. Write it down. These are the things that are important in life, these are the things that are important in the career, and what's not. The people who tend to be most successful, most content, most efficient, know what's important and what's not. Number two, know your limits, know your habits, um, and know your comfort zones and know your strengths. So what are your limits when it comes to everything? Food, drink, people, and so on. Know your limits, know your strengths but also know your habits. Once you know your habits, you can work around those particular kind of habits and tweak them and change them. And the key thing here is about being honest about them. Number three, and it's kind of linked to number one, know whose views are important and who's not. Maybe it isn't that you don't want career or business advice from a family member, maybe you don't want family advice from somebody in your business or career. Be mindful about whose views you take on and be mindful about being thrown off course by um, a heckling spectator who's got nothing to do with your race. Okay. And they've got nothing to do with the journey that you're on. It's so easy to be, can imagine that we're a runner and as the spectators, it's part of it, you need to be able to keep focused. So know whose views are important, whose are not. Number four, know when to step up and when to speak up. Is it time for you to step forward or speak up and have your say in the workplace and business or generally or with family? But also when is it time for you to step up? I remember many years ago, I tell the story about when I was in a voluntary organization. I remember a couple of years in, I was called in by the director who said, actually, Rashid, um, one of my co-directors has stepped down. I'd like you to be part of the team. I look around, but I recognize that's something that I could do. So sometimes it's about stepping up to support, but sometimes that will be about stepping up in terms of your career and going for that next stage, because you're ready. Number five, know when to pause breathe and relax before saying something or knowing when to be silent nothing needs to be said I remember just this month somebody had asked me to give a talk at a particular event and I quoted them a cost and they were very unhappy about it and they responded with this and I sent a reason why that was the price and uh, they sent me another angry email back and I realised you know what I was just fueling their flame. Be silent. Be still. I want to be silent. For others and for you, for your own well-being and for your own connectivity. Know when to step back and know when to stop. This is number six. Sometimes it's time for you to step back, perhaps for others to take a lead, perhaps to get the rest that you need. Sometimes time is to stop. Something's not working, the relationship's not working. Um, where you are in your career is not working for you. 
know when to step back, when to stop. Number seven, know when to step forward, when to help. I think this thing about when you know what your strengths are, you know when to step forward. And when you look around, you know when to help. It might be somebody in the street, it might be somebody in your a friend or a family, or it might be somebody else in your company. Number eight, know when to sidestep, when to find a new path. There will be those times in your career where you try to move up, but it might be quite a flat structure. I know many people in many fields where that's the case, so it might be about moving sideways. I was at a talk the other day and a very successful person in the health service had said that actually um, people always thought that their career, the career was very linear, but he actually said that lots of things that helped him was moving sideways here, spotting opportunity there, creating another opportunity there. And sometimes it would be finding a whole new path. I need to find a whole new path and I was made redundant at certain points um, and at certain other points when I wanted to just try new things. So I wanted to sidestep and went to find a new path. That brings us on to number nine. Know what works for you and know what doesn't and know what distracts you. So what is it that works for you? You know, measure what you do. Is it working? Reflect. Is it time to change it? And know what distracts you. Is it the email? Is it the social media? Is it having so many bits of paper on your desk or at home? And it might be you need to build in a tiny bit of time for those distractions, the TV, the online, the social media, the email, but it's managed. But then you can be focused by starting off again with number one, knowing what's important. That brings us on to number 10. Finally, know when you need help and support or new skills. Might be a point where you realize actually um, my industry's changed, your career's changed, what you're wanting has changed, or your relationships are changing and you realize you need more support or new skills. Don't be afraid to acknowledge that to yourself and to seek out that help. And finally, link to this, you know, don't be afraid to change as life does. Life won't be moving still. So you need to be moving just to keep pace with life, to flow with life. So those are my top 10 tips. My quote for the month is, just because you're busy, it doesn't mean you're effective. Just because you're busy doesn't mean you're effective. So again, this brings us back to these top 10 tips for a happier, simpler, successful life. Know what's important. Know your limits and habits and your comfort zones. Know whose views are important and whose views aren't. Know when to step up, when to speak up, know when to pause, when to be silent, know when to step back, when to stop, and know when to step forward and to help, and know when to move sideways or it might be for a new path, and watch what works for you, what doesn't, and to know ways that's distracting you, and know when you need help and support. So those are my 10 tips. I wish you all the best for the month ahead and I'll see you next month. Thanks for tuning in. Bye bye.